So we're at a, another so-called unnamed hotel and uh, uh, there was reported bed bugs. So I tore apart the room which you can see the headboards off the wall uh, which is just the typical to look around. And the first thing I saw, and they've been sp sprayed with pyrethroid so that they uh, will die and not move around. They were alive and moving, but you can see right there. So when you take off a headboard, that's exactly what you're going to look for. You see those marks, you can see the bed bugs are moving around a little bit right now because um, they're sprayed, they're going to die pretty soon, but you see that that black flecking, um, that's blood spots, and that's pretty typically what you'd see um, if there was an infestation of bed bugs uh, uh, in, in your room. You can see sort of up in there, uh, sorry for the, the bad focusing, it's, it's really dark in here so I'm having trouble with it, but you can see the bed bugs are moving around real small if you, if you figure it on the whole thing, I mean if I zoom all the way out you can see you know, there's a regular size lamp. There's the bed bugs walking around there. And then if I zoom in just a little, see there's one moving around, there's another one moving around. And all this stuff that's right there, which you really can't see very well, is cast skins of the smaller nymphal instars and things like that. So um, quite a few of them actually um, on, on this one. And uh, hopefully we can zoom in. Uh, i got to walk around some furniture here. but. You can see, I'm going to bring a light over as well, um, this is on the board, but you can see, you can't really see in there very well, um, but that that screw hole that's holding it on is just completely packed full of bed bugs. Uh, if I were to spray that right now, you'd probably see 15, 20, maybe even 30. Uh, there's eggs, and again, you can see that black specking, and if you look over here, you can see it again and you can see the bed bugs sort of hanging out right in there. So if you're if you're staying at a hotel and you pull apart that bed headboard, that's the first thing you want to look for is that black specking. You can also look for it on the mattress corners. Um, there's there's some, not a whole lot uh, of black specking. You can see a little there, but seeing it on this headboard is sort of the key. I mean, it's pretty much all the way across. This is a pretty big infestation, but a couple, couple hundred bed bugs in here. Um, there's, there's bed, there's bed bugs in the tufts of the mattress. Uh, uh, you can see the little guy right, right there, sort of center on screen. So, very, very interesting um, case we have here of bed bugs. So, I'm going to get to spring. So uh, just checking out more damage, found some more bed bugs at a different hotel here and I just wanted to show you, here's the head of a pen. These itty bitty little things right here are masses of eggs. So you've got about, oh, probably 20 or 30 and then here's all the damage that you see. Those are blood specks, so bed bugs fed on somebody and then they poop those out and that's what you'd look for. Uh, I mean if I scroll this back you can see that this is just the piece that holds up the headboard on the bed. Um, here's the headboard laying off uh, in the background right over there. You see the other piece. Here's the piece that I took off of the wall um, and, and whatnot. And so that is what we saw. But as you can see, just getting a nice, hopefully, good close up picture I mean, and just comparing it to the size of the pen, the head. So you got to be looking. These little itty bitty white eggs, uh, they're, they're oblong, uh, they're, they're long, cylindrical on the ends. And then looking for this, uh, this specking, these blood specks uh, all over the edges are, are all keys uh, when you're looking for bedbug damage.